This morning in strong support, first of all, of HRS 76, the resolution to create a national holiday in honor of a great human being, Cesar Chavez. Mr. Speaker, already nine states celebrate his life. I am proud that California was the first. The legacy that he left on the history of this nation must be recognized. He made a difference, not only for Latinos, not only for migrant workers, but for the poor and the working poor, and he also built a coalition of conscience across racial and economic boundaries, just as his co-founder, a great woman, a good friend, Dolores Huerta, has. I'm reminded today of the political support that Cesar provided me during my first California campaign for the California legislature. He truly helped me make and win my first election, and for that I am deeply grateful. And I had the privilege to attend his funeral with Congressman Baca in Delano, California. As I marched behind his humble wooden cas casket, I was reminded of the fact that one person, one person who stood for nonviolence can and could and did make a difference. The Martin Luther King Freedom Center in Oakland, California uh, studies the lives of great freedom fighters such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and also Cesar Chavez. The young people of our country and especially in my district are getting to know this human being who really did live a life committed to justice and freedom for all. I urge my colleagues to join us in supporting this growing movement for a national holiday in honor and in memory of this great civil and human rights leader. He is such an important historical figure in our nation. Si se puede. Yes, we can create a country of liberty and justice for all. Cesar Chavez showed us how to do it. He showed us with his gentle and kind spirit. He showed us with his tough love. He showed us how to march. He showed us how to care about those, the least of these, who had no voice. And for that, this country owes him a debt of gratitude. And I can think of no other way than to honor him by passing HRS 76.